Hey guys, what's up in this video? I will show you the uh, Thunderbolt ROM version uh, 8, which is the latest version of this ROM. So, this ROM is basically based on the Android 4.2.2, and right now I'm using the TouchWiz launcher on this ROM. So, it is a AOKP ROM, and it is pretty much stable in terms of performance. So, right now I'm using a theme. CM Tempo 1 theme, which I downloaded from the App Store, I mean Play Store. So, this is the Android 4.2.2, Jelly Bean, and AOKP version 8, which is the latest version of Thunderbolt ROM. So, no need you are already a developer, so I'm already a developer. I have to click on the build number like about 3 to 4 times to be a bit. Uh, to be a developer so in terms of performance and smoothness it is very nice it comes with a four different launcher which is TouchWiz launcher, Xperia Z launcher, uh, Nova launcher and its stock launcher so I'm using the uh, the TouchWiz launcher which is very good so it also comes with uh, some of the uh, features of this ROM which is the uh, main thing of a ROM it is the ROM control so we have journal UI, it's pretty much same in uh, every other ROM, we can set the custom carry label, we can set the custom background here, so as you can see, I have, as you can see we have our custom background, we have our custom label here, ZTEC here, so this is pretty much it and also we have a, a new feature which is the dark AOKP uh, which uh, just uh, make your skin a little bit more dark so I'm going to just turn it off and now it is a uh, normal so we have our theme choose your application to choose themes a lot of themes now this is the sense 5 theme so it will apply the story this theme is missing this is for your device screen apply anyway it will apply it for you without any problems As you can see now, I am using the Sense 5 theme for my Galaxy S2. So this is full Sense 5 theme on the TouchWiz launcher. As you can see, all the icons and also some of the quick toggles are also changed. But and also we have here the phone, which is also changed according to the Sense 5 and we have here the let's check out the uh, messaging app here I'm gonna show you so we have our uh, swipe keyboard as you can see you can type words you have our uh, voice command here hi how are you As you can see so everything is pretty much working awesome and also we do have a working camera with no problem I'm gonna show you here test to focus and uh, pictures a lot of pictures to zoom and also editing is working great no problems in editing as you can see we click save no problems whatsoever so browser is working great let me show you here browser is working great um, Wi-Fi let me connect to the Wi-Fi here so this website is a high flash website I will show you the smoothness and performance of uh, this phone see here it is smoother no performance issues whatsoever as you can see no problems so the performance is amazing and nothing new the only thing is that uh, one more thing is that this uh, phone uh, this ROM also comes with uh, the PlayStation app here we have our PlayStation uh, account my PSN 
We can have, we can uh, see the news and vlogs. We can share and discuss. We can browse all the games, and we can also see uh, uh, more than games. And we have settings there. So let's click on browse all game. We have our PS3, PSP, and PS2 sections. We can see all the games. As you can see, I'm seeing the PSP games here. 300 March to Glory and a lot of games here for PlayStation Portable and you can see and uh, uh, actually when you click on any of the game you can see it's uh, uh, screenshots here so my Wi-Fi is kinda slow so that's why it is taking some time so otherwise this is a very nice app and and another feature of this ROM is that this ROM comes with a uh, uh, two different kernels. So one is the Cyanogen mod kernel and other is the Sierra Dominex kernel. So I'm using the Sierra Dominex kernel which is 9.26 uh, and I will also make a video of how to install Sierra kernel Dominex uh, version 9.26 or the latest version which is the 9.32 and I will make a video about that and you can check out that in my channel and and so with this kernel you get the Asterisk apps Asterisk app here and most of you are familiar with this app that uh, it allows you to overclock your device up to 1.6 gigahertz as you can see I'm running 1.3 gigahertz right now I can overclock it up to 1.6 gigahertz and also I can overclock the GPU here I can overclock the GPU to different settings when I'm using the stock ones like I'm gonna overclock it up to 520 megahertz and and that's pretty cool so the other thing is that it also comes with the a Walkman app uh, which is the a feature of the Xperia Z launcher and it is very nice as you can see sound quality is also good no problems whatsoever so do hit that thumbs up button if you enjoy watching this video and also uh, subscribe and if you have any questions feel free to comment down below and do check it out the Thunderbolt version 8 ROM and yeah peace out.